Good morning, at the grade. Hope you are doing well. Uh, listen carefully. This is the last video for this semester. Okay, so please follow with me. Page 73, Dictionary Corner. We have a new words here. You must memorize the words. Okay, exercise one and two. Check the meaning of the words in the box and complete the sentences. Conservation, discrimination, tamiz, recycling, recycling, slavery, starvation, vaccinations, conservation aims to protect nature, conservation as I see at a child labor is a star is a type of slavery. A three is one way we can fight against pollution, recycling. Can stop disease if doctors have enough to give people vaccinations. Racism is one of the most common forms of uh number five. Uh, discrimination okay discrimination uh, the famine has caused lots of people to die of starvation yes we have here words and e n or as a suffix and the prefix we add e n add the beginning, the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the verb, sorry. So we can make someone words into verbs by adding the prefix en, add the prefix en before or the suffix en. And if you can في أفعال من ضيف الهمس en as a prefix, طبعا prefix اللي هو بسبق الكلمة و suffix اللي هو آخر الكلمة. After them, make verbs to match the definitions using the words in the box. Bright, courage, danger, flat, force, large, quiet, rich, sweet, worse. Uh, as uh, sentence number one, brighten, to make something brighter. Here, brighten, we add en as a suffix. Two, to cause danger to someone or something. habaybi in danger. In danger, we add en as a prefix. Number three, to make something flat, here flatten, we add en, double uh, the the letter t, and add en as a uh, suffix. Number four, to make somebody or something quiet, here quieten, uh, quieten, sorry, quieten, here quieten, we add en as suffix. To improve the quality of something, number five, enrich, enrich, we add en as a prefix. Number six, to become worse, worsen, worsen, we add en as a uh, suffix. To give hope, support, or confidence, enforce, number seven, uh, encourage, sorry, number seven, encourage. We add en, en as a prefix. Number eight, to make people obey a law or rule. The enforce, enforce, the meaning of enforcement or enforcement. The enforce. We add en to this verb as a prefix. To make something sweet by adding sugar, etc. Nanhali, يعني. Here he sweeten, sweeten. We add en, add as a uh, suffix for this verb to make something bigger. Lihuwe enlarge, enlarge. We add en as a prefix. حبايبي هذا الاكسرسايز عبارة عن إنه بدي أضيف en للهاي الأفعال الموجودة عندي. إذا طبعا بيختلف المعنى لما نضيفها ففي اي ان لما تكون مسبقه للفعل طبعا هو بيكون بريفكس اما لما تكون بعد الفعل اللي هي السفكس سو ستدي ويل ذس اكسرسايز 
the 39 steps please follow with me and open page 74 the 39 steps the last paragraph in this semester we have the word biography here biography اللي هي السيره الذاتيه يا مس تتذكروا انه احنا كتبنا بسيره ذاتيه وحكت لنا وحكيت لكم عنها اللي هي بيوغرافي السيره الذاتيه لحياه شخص معين اوكي وي هاف اوكي شورت ستوري هير اي ويل ريد ات فور يو I came into a village and I saw a policeman standing outside the post office and reading something carefully. He looked up at the car and stepped into the road and helped up a hand to stop me. I almost did stop, but then I realized that the policeman had been reading about me. I supposed the police at the hotel and worked quickly and contacted all the local villages. I drove faster. The policeman jumped out of my way and I was soon out of the village. I left the main road as soon as possible and try a smaller one. It was not easy without a map and I realized that I had been st stupid to steal the car. It would help the police and the black stone to find me in any corner of Scotland. If I left it and went off on foot, they would find me in an hour or two. I took a road that went along a narrow valley and then up onto the moor again. I was very hungry. I had eaten nothing since morning and now as I drove, I heard a noise in the sky and there was a plan. Sorry, there was a <clears throat> and there was a plane. On the moor, it would see me in a minute. I drove as fast as I could down into another valley, and towards the wood, suddenly a car appeared in front of me from a side road. There was no time to stop. I did the only nothing possible and drove off the road into a hedge, hoping to hit something soft beyond, but I was out of luck. The car went through the hedge, like a knife through butter and immediately began to fall. I jumped out and was caught by the branch of a tree. While the car disappeared into a river 15 meters below, a hand helped me out of the tree and a frightened voice asked me if I was badly hurt. The speaker was a young. If I was badly Okay, the speaker was a young man who was very alarmed and very sorry. I was more pleased than angry. Angry, it was a good way for the car to disappear. Look, we have a picture here for this man. Okay, I think all the meanings in this short story is clear for are clear clear for you and just you must write the answers for exercise uh, questions number one and three that's it uh, i hope you